Okay, today is the first episode of Guys Night Out. We have one of the most beautiful women here in Detroit who's starring in an upcoming movie called Vampire Strippers. She's going to introduce herself, and after she does, we have just a few questions for her that you guys have all been wondering about. And she's going to answer them. Okay. The upcoming movie is going to be released sometime in September, October of this year. She's the star of the movie, in the movie, Vampire Strippers, shot here in Detroit. Um, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hello, my name is Miss Ready X. Okay. And uh, first question that we have for you, Miss Rated X. Ready. Ready X. I'm ready. Ready, yes. okay. Is how did you start stripping? Hmm. Okay. How did I start stripping? Yes. In this movie? No, here. <laughs> <laughs> no, here. Just like just, period. Period. How did you start? Um, well, back in the day, you know, you have to do something. You know, a job is a job. So that was easy, you know. You ain't need nothing. You just had to be 18. Showgirls, the ladies here ain't got no clothes. Y'all remember that? I remember but that. But anyway, <laughs> that was like my start off. Um, as I got older, I just noticed like it's a female thing. And um, I want that fast money, but I don't need everybody is different. It's so much in the club, you know what I'm saying? So okay. shout out to all my stripper sisters. But I just chose something. It's like porn, dancing, escorting. It's like kissing cousins. It's, you know what I'm saying? It's all kind of attached. It just all depends on the person, how far you're willing to take it. So my stripper life is kind of over. I do do private and personal parties, but I'm not just swinging on the pole until you see me in this upcoming movie. Okay, wonderful. Okay, second question here. Um, everyone always wonders, how many days a week does a stripper usually work? One day, two days? Is one day enough to cover you for um, everything? Or two days, three days, seven days? Everyone wants to know how many days. Once again, everyone is so totally different. I don't care if Jay-Z just came in the building and we all left with 10, 10 20 racks. I'm coming to work tomorrow. Dedicated mm -hmm. hustlers. So some females, is I'm there seven days well six i'm gonna take one day off because every day ain't popping you know what i'm okay, saying you okay, pick and okay. choose but i'm here every night to see what i'm about to accomplish every night is different you might miss i'm scared i don't want to miss shit. i'm one of them so i'm there every night not you got some like i just made enough pay them bills that car no shit <laughs> fuck no i mean you know everybody is different right so, right that's know. what we want to know yeah okay so it varies depends on the exactly. person exactly okay Okay, another question everybody wants to know. The big question. What everybody want to know? What's everyone, the big question? The big question is how much money, on average, not you in particular, but how much money does a stripper make per week? Wow. <laughs> Once again, I keep saying everything is different. Like, we're in Detroit. So the money that is made here in Detroit for strippers is not with the money that is made in Miami for strippers. You know what I'm saying? Like I recently was just at a booty club, right? Okay. And it's early. They got some lunchtime shit going on. Now they are doing five dollar dances. Now on a popping ass day, you feel me? Like you coming in for lunch, you get to see some half naked. You know they only want five dollars. You done got about four five dances before you done went back to work. You know whatever the situation may be, I think it could be a good thing. But due okay. to the fact that, are you a baller? Are you a lurker and just a looker? You know, are you a tipper? Like, are you tipping? Are you really giving money? Like that's the situation. You go to the right club and it's so much competition between the dudes. You feel me? Them bras gonna get some money tonight because. Okay of the situations if it, it depends on where you work at you know what I, like okay. all that matters so i can't even quote you on a price okay. when i've seen five dollar 
uh, dances and nobody was getting dances. Damn, it's only five dollars. <laughs> so that was just at this one club, but they had a super bomb drink special. Everything was half off. You know, it okay. make you come here, but damn, y'all ain't gonna give them no money. Like <laughs> I, I understand too, it was early. I might need to go back on a night lifetime. But see, okay. you know, when we got some Detroit stuff going on, you know. These little rap dudes be up in the club. That's yeah. competition night. Okay. Everybody want to be that baller. You going to get some money. So shit really varies. I can't really do no... I can do a guesstimation, but it's not facts. You know what I'm saying? Everybody is different. It all depends on how hard you go in the club. It all depends on what type of dude is you. Do you like this big ass? Do you like these big titties? Do you like little mama? What you want? Everybody's money is different. That leads to my next question. What is? Okay, now this is the big question. Now, mainly women want to know, do women with big asses make more money at the strip club or is it about your personality? Dude, everybody <laughs> in the strip club has a big fake ass, okay? okay? Unless you was just for real greens and cornbread fed. You understand? Some people are thick and that shit is natural, but, you know, fake booty ain't soft booty i would rather be team soft booty than you just got this look about you you know so that's what i said most dudes is for the big booty girl huh? okay right. you know like at the end of the day it is so even if he didn't like her he tipped that big ass when she was doing her booty twerking and shit okay, you know what i'm saying right, so, right. Um, but once again, don't forget about our precious little petites. You feel me? It all depends because we not letting big booty take shit away from us. Okay. You okay, know, okay, we the one okay. on flipping and doing that. Okay. You like that big ass. You liking these pole tricks. You have to get it back one way or another. Okay. You know? Okay. Okay. Yep. A lot, a lot of thinner women always do wonder that. Do, do I have enough body to make money as a stripper? Clearly, she's yeah. at the club. She didn't count herself out. Hashtag right. Team booty, Little Booties Matter. Okay. Little Booties Matter. I like that. Yes. All right. Okay. Um, you go into a club. You see the strippers with these amazing outfits. Even the outfit you have on now is very nice. Thank you. Where do you get these outfits from? Okay. Um, Marty's. Every stripper in Detroit know about marty's unfortunately she moved she's no longer on seven miles so i don't have a location but um chrysillas okay. chrysillas um everybody on this instagram and shit so instagram is very smart you can go on there and they get you know, it just all depends on what, what you're looking for because the dancer know where she's going. And then you got the people that make stuff come up in the club. You okay. know what I'm saying? And they look what I made or they go on a hustle. They got some shit from somebody. It's a hustle mechanism, but those were the main places. It's some other stuff. Lovelies. It's some stuff out here. Okay. I just can't send you directly to it. I'm more of an online shopper. Okay. Wonderful. Wonderful. Okay. Also. This is a question that a lot of guys have been asking me to ask you. Do strippers actually like the attention, not even necessarily the money, but the attention that you get from the men from the club? Only if it's good attention. But I'm just saying, some people are attention seekers. You understand? Okay. When I get all keep coming down to shit just different everybody is different you know what i'm saying like okay. if you are that attention you want it you know because if you okay i think men can peep that as well so okay. if you is this for the attentioner you might not have got as much money because you waiting on something else you know so you the one that's booed up with the dude okay you get okay. some drinks and y'all take it <laughs> slow and you could have been uh oh, get it, get it, and uh -huh. you're not getting it because you on this attention type shit. Okay. Uh, and once again, everybody's different. Okay. I, you know. Okay. Hours. What are the typical hours for a stripper? Night, day. What are the best hours? I'll days of the night. week. I go with night. Um, I go with night. But if you are at a upscale environment your day and your night is going to be fine you know if you just 
if you just ask some shit because you got something to do at night, like kids or something like that, and you know, it might suck, but it add up and it depends on days, you know? It depends on days. Everybody have different moods. He might not have woke up like he was going to buy some booty today or something, but ended up there, you know? You get with the right lunch crowd, you know? Dudes hyped up, you know? You might spend your hour, half hour, whatever you get for the lunch, and you might, you know, have a good, successful morning life. And then, once again, your location, where are you? Where are you? All of this matters. Okay. Really and here's our last question here. And this is something that I, in particular, have, have wondered. Do you make more monies at private parties or do you make more money at the strip club? Once again, if you got a baller alert, baller, <laughs> RIP Bernie Mac, press the okay, button, yeah. okay, now ring the alarm. Okay. If you have one of those type of situations, it could vary, but I'm going to go with the private party. Private because parties, a private party okay. is super private to the point where you gave me some money to appear. You know, I'm still getting the money, you know what I'm saying? And then you have that choice, that almighty choice to take it to the ultimate level. Right. Okay, which right. is that fuck them dollars. We got to a whole different situation of money. At the club, some clubs allow it, but most don't, or they say they don't. But you know what I'm saying? You can only really get your freaky dance. I might can show you some extra shit if you, I take you on the VIP, but I can't get them extra, extra, you know? You know, so okay. I go with the personal party side because when you just showing up at work, you showing up here and you don't know what you're getting throughout this day. Even if shit went bad at that private party, you know how much you charge to get here and whatever you got, if it didn't work out, at least you started yourself off with the appropriate amount for you. Okay. Thank you very much for coming on our first yeah. episode of Guys Night Out. I would like you to introduce yourself again. Tell us where we can see you. And um, that would be it for the um, first episode of Guys Night Out. Once again, I am Miss Ready X. M-S-R-E-A-D-Y-X. And you can catch me on Instagram. Miss Ready X, and you can also catch me on Twitter at Two More X's. Have oh. a good day. All right, thank you very much. No problem. All right.